Good morning guys, welcome to Friday's English lesson. We are still working on Goldilocks. We're doing a different story on Monday, but for today we are working on Goldilocks. Yesterday we did some describing sentences about Goldilocks and today we're going to do some describing sentences, but this time we're going to have a go at describing the bears. So I'm going to put a picture up of what you're going to to use um, and the picture that you need to use for sentences and then we're going to have a go at writing a sentence together and then I want you to be writing a sentence at home so you will need to make sure you have got a paper and a pen. So this is the photo that I would like you to use um, for your describing sentences so you can have a look at what the bears look like, what they're wearing, have a think about um, the different sizes of them. There's lots of different things that we can have a go at writing. And then we're going to have a go at doing a sentence all together. But this is the photo that you're focusing on to do your own sentences. So I'm just going to do my writing underneath where I did my writing yesterday, making sure that I still use capital letters, finger spaces and full stops. And I am going to write Daddy Bear has a blue tie. So I'm starting with a capital letter because it is his name, but it is also the start of a sentence. So Daddy... Bear has a, s a, and I'm going to start a new line because I'm not going to fit a word on the end here. Blue, blue, tight, I. End of my sentence, so I'm going to do a full stop. It is really important that you use capital letters for somebody's name, but also for the start of your sentence, that you are using finger spaces and that you use a full stop at the end. And remember, with your letters, when it is a tall letter, it, you need to make sure it is tall. If it is a ladder letter that comes down, it needs to come down. OK, you need to make sure you're forming those letters correctly and they are the right size. We've done lots of practice of it in school, so remember about the size of your letters and I can't wait to see your sentences.